The Air Handling Unit AHU, is the fundamental device in air treatment for air conditioning installations, ensuring correct flows of ventilation, cleanliness, temperature, and humidity. The heat or cold, as needed, comes from external sources such as boilers or chillers, through water or steam pipes, where the water delivers heat or cold to the air depending on the case. In some models, there may be an additional contribution of heat through incorporated electric resistors. Where do we find air handling units? These units are located in medium to large buildings and premises, usually in the basement, on the roof, or on the floors of the building. It is common to find multiple air handling units around the building, although some buildings, especially old skyscrapers, will have a single large air handling unit, usually on the roof. However, this design is less common in new buildings due to its inefficiency. Currently, it is more common for new facility designs to have several small air handling units to supply different zones, with better control and higher quality conditioning. What is the purpose of an air handling unit? 1. Take fresh air from outside, clean it, heat it or cool it, and possibly humidify or dehumidify it. 2. Force the air through ducts around designated areas within the building. 3. In most cases, the units have an additional duct to extract this used air and take it back to the air handling unit, where a fan returns it to the atmosphere. 4. Part of this return air can be recycled into the fresh air supply to save energy. What are the characteristics of a typical air handling unit? We list some below. 1. In a basic model, there are two ducts, one for supply and one for return air. 2. The air handling unit has a mesh to prevent the entry of objects. 3. In the supply and return inlets, there are gates or dampers, metal sheets that can rotate and close to regulate the airflow. 4. Dampers can have motorized control to change their position automatically. 5. After the dampers, there are filters to trap dust and dirt. 6. Pressure sensors measure the dirt on the filters and alert when it's time to replace them. 7. Pre-filters and bag filters are used to capture large and small dust particles, respectively. 8. Next, we find heat exchangers to reach the desired temperatures. 9. Variable frequency controlled fans are common now for greater energy efficiency. 10. After the fan, there is a pressure sensor to detect equipment failures. 11. Then, we have the ducts that distribute the air throughout the building. 12. There are also return ducts that carry the used air out of the building. 13. In cold regions, there is a preheater at the fresh air intake to prevent the freezing of the heat exchangers. 14. A recirculation duct is used to balance the thermal equilibrium. 15. CO2 sensors monitor the concentration in the exhaust air. 16. In recirculation mode, the aim is to have the majority of the return air go back into the building. 17. Some buildings require 100% fresh air, so the recirculation strategy cannot be used everywhere.